What's going on everybody? Welcome back to the channel. Big Dog Brett. Thanks so much for tuning in. Uh, today I wanted to put out a little video for you guys talking about the Shamar Stewart um, potential uh, surprise. Shamar Stewart is a highly rated five-star defensive lineman. Currently he's predicted to go to Texas A&M, but the prediction's confidence strength's really low. A lot of fives and sixes, but basically saying nobody really knows. They, they think he's going there, but they're not sure. Um, this guy's been verbally committed to uh, to Miami for some ridiculous reason. I'm not sure why. Uh, and, and Miami fans, before you get all upset, I'll explain why it's to me ridiculous. He, now he may very well end up signing with Texas with uh, with Miami, and that's fine. <laughs> But it doesn't make a lot of sense for a highly rated five-star defensive lineman to go to an ACC team that just got a brand new head coach, uh, doesn't have a very strong recruiting class, uh, is not going to be projected to win the ACC, is not going to be going against elite offensive talent to sharpen his skills. Uh, this just doesn't make a lot of sense. Now, that having been said, everything on his Instagram and Twitter and all this other stuff is is – Miami. But one of the posts he made is that he's trying to get to 15,000 um, followers on Instagram by signing day. So he appears to, to very much be a gentleman who is interested in uh, you know, getting as much attention as he can, which is fine. I mean, that's, that's the time. That's, that's the sign of the times or however they say it. And now here's what you got to ask yourself. If you're a defensive lineman and you're the you know, highest rated in the country here, are you going to go to a school that has zero history, in my opinion, of putting guys in the NFL to, to play defensive line? Or do you pick two between two other schools that are in the biggest, strongest conference in America, the SEC? Both teams last year beat Alabama. Both teams have very strong recruiting classes, and both of those teams have uh, tenured head coaches. Now, you can make arguments about how long it takes to say and blah, blah, blah. Listen, it's not even close. Now, you've got a choice. You, Texas a has got a number one recruiting class in the country, so he's going to be surrounded by talent, but he's going to be surrounded by young talent. Now, they did have some recruit, you know, pretty good recruiting classes in years past, but they're not as deep as, say, Georgia is. Georgia's had number one, number two, number one, number three. Looks like they might end up with a two or three recruiting class again this year. So the roster is absolutely stacked. Not to mention that at Georgia, he's going to be practicing with some of the best talent in the country every single time they show up to practice. So there's a lot to be said for, hey, uh, you want to sharpen your skills, you want to look at going pro, you need to look at Georgia. You really need to take this as strong consideration. Also throw into the mix that Georgia has just put several guys in the NFL, just won the national championship, all of the spotlights on Georgia. So if you've got a team that are, if you're a player and you're looking for a place to make an impact, it would make a lot of sense to see this kid all of a sudden flip to Georgia, create a huge wave and immediately get a ton of recognition and attention across the country. So to me, if, if he signs, if he signs with Miami, it's kind of ho hum, you know. He said he was going to sign with Miami. He signs with Georgia. It's like, where did that come from? And on top of that, Georgia has a history of flipping guys uh, just out of nowhere. And, and so it's this would be, the, you know, the, the kind of ingredient that we would expect to see out of that type of situation. You got a kid who's by all means showing that he's going to go to Miami. <clears throat> Georgia is not the last visit he made. I think it was the next to last visit he made. I think uh, Coach Muschamp went and talked to him. And Georgia's got a very strong recruiting uh, recruiting team. Uh, they, they do an excellent job with these kids. I can't say Miami does the same. Uh, now there may be some hometown pool there. You know he, he wants to he wants to you know stick around. I think he's from Opelika. But. If you're looking for a place to sharpen your skills to take it to the next level and you're a defensive lineman, it's not Miami. It's not to say he won't go there, but if I was him or this was my son, I would strongly say, hey, look, 
if you want to be the best defensive lineman you can be and, and I, you know, take an opportunity to go to the NFL, then you need to go to a place that has a history of putting linemen in the NFL. Georgia's going to be your best bet. You're going to get more visits from scouts. Scouts go to practice. These NFL scouts go to the behind-the-scenes practices. They see these kids all the time. Do you think, do you think scouts are more interested in going to Georgia to watch defensive linemen's practices or going to Miami's? I mean, that, that, that should answer itself. So, if you want my opinion, you know, it would not surprise me if he makes a surprise flip to Georgia. That would be the best place he could go. The uh, Georgia does have a little bit of a problem. We don't know how many scholarships we have available. Uh, I think we're – and the math is hard to do because it, there's no official uh, release of what uh, – how many scholarships the team has available. Now, is it possible that Georgia could pull a, a scholarship from a three-star? Yes, it's possible. They can make some of these kids a preferred walk-on. would not be insane to see that. Now, before people get all up in arms, oh, they gave the kid a scholarship, they can't take it away. Yes, they do. They take it away all the time. They, they move scholarships around all the time. Uh, Georgia does it. Alabama does it. All of your elite schools that are strapped for uh, scholarships, they will move kids. They will ask them to leave. They will do all kinds of things. Now, Georgia's had a few kids in the transfer. I can never say that right. Transfer portal. Jeez. Um, and apparently, I'm not the only content creator struggles with that word. Uh, I think I've even seen Brandon Adams struggle with it a couple times. Um, there's been several kids that have left UGA. I don't know how many scholarships that opens up. I know Georgia's signing a pretty big class. I know they signed a big class last year. Uh, you know, and then you got, you, you know, is it possible Georgia's looking at pulling some kids in from the transfer portal? We don't know, and it's really hard to say. So that may be something that plays uh, towards uh, him going to Texas A&M. If he wants a lot of play time and he wants to be on prime time, he, he really needs to play for an SEC school. Uh, but in, in my opinion, if I had to pick, I would pick Georgia. Yes, I'm a Georgia homer, but I'm also trying to be as objective as possible in saying which one of these schools is going to give him the best opportunity to become the best defensive lineman he can. So if you answer that question and you say any school other than Alabama or Georgia, uh, you, you need to reevaluate. Uh, Texas A&M is coming along, but if you compare Texas A&M to Georgia, you got to say which one of these teams has a better defense historically. You got to look at which one of these teams just won a national championship. Which one of these teams has the strongest uh, coaching staff? So uh, none of that points to Miami. We'll see what happens with him. I wish him the best of luck if he comes to Georgia. You know, commit to the G, attack the day, let's go get it. Uh, if you commit to Miami, sir, I feel sorry for your decision. If you commit to Texas A&M, I'll, uh, I'll love to see the, the wonderful things you're going to do over there. But, you know, that, yeah. see, it is what it is. All right, guys, well, that's it for me today. Just wanted to get this out there before he goes to, uh, to sign. I uh, really appreciate you guys. We're trying to get to 6,000 subscribers here. Um, before the season starts, really appreciate you guys. Thank you for the 5,000. You guys are awesome. Uh, but it never stops. It never ends. The drive, the grind is never over. Uh, don't forget to hit like and subscribe. Tonight we're going to be doing a live show. We'll talk about all these things and a whole bunch more, including Jim Harbaugh leaving to go to where? The Minnesota Vikings. What? We'll talk about why tonight. Have a great day. God bless. Go dogs.